story. After a year-long battle with cancer, Suman Kamath's dog, beloved dog, Toby, is officially in remission thanks to a comprehensive treatment, but it was a hard road to get to this point. Yeah, inspired by her journey, Suman is launching a new nonprofit in Seattle to help other owners navigating the challenges of a dog cancer diagnosis. We have her here with us this morning to continue the conversation. Suman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course. So first, just tell us about your dog, Toby, who's taking a little nap right now. How long have you had him? And at what point did you find out that he was diagnosed with canine lymphoma? Yeah, I got him from a rescue group in Denver, Colorado in 2015. And we've had so many great adventures together over the years. And I really was surprised by his diagnosis in June of last year. Um, he had a lump on his neck. but you know, I really didn't know what that was. And we went for an annual vet visit and they told us it was lymphoma. Uh, I was really shocked. I, I didn't know anything about canine lymphoma at the time, but I feel like I've really learned a lot over the last year. Yeah, I'm sure some of our viewers are thinking, you know, didn't even know that dogs could get any types of cancer. And, and here's a reality that, that you and Toby have obviously faced in the past year or so. Uh, which I sure was was a really tough fight. So talk about the resources that you turned to to get Toby on that path to remission. Yeah, I was really fortunate that I had a great vet and um, an excellent oncologist, Dr. Gillings at Summit Veterinary Referral Center in Tacoma. Um, they both really helped us understand what our treatment options were and made it as easy as possible through the six months of chemotherapy for me and Toby. Um, he did great through treatment. You know, we had pretty limited side effects. Dogs really don't have the same experiences as people do when they mm -hmm. go through chemo. For example, dogs don't lose their hair. I mm -hmm. didn't know this when I started out. Um, he did lose a few whiskers, though. <laughs> and for me, I just, I really relied on trying to find people online that had gone through a similar experience. I felt pretty isolated otherwise because I didn't have any friends or family that had had a dog that went through cancer, specifically lymphoma, and we're going through chemo. So it, it really meant a lot to find Facebook groups and online friends um, that just to feel like we could talk about this together. It's so important to have that community because it does sound like it could be a lonely journey. So, so you're, you're trying to build that community now. You've started a new nonprofit here in Seattle called Toby's Hope for Canine Cancer Care. Can you talk about how it will help dogs facing cancer and owners alike with financial and emotional support? Yeah, it was really important to me to build out a organization that's mission is twofold. One is to be able to provide financial assistance for those in need so that they can receive the cancer treatment for their dogs. So that may be the best option for a survival of, you know, more than um, just a few weeks. And um, I felt like I didn't want people to have to go through the, the caretaker experience being so isolated and, and grasping online for resources like I did. So I wanted to also be able to build out um, an area of our organization that focuses on support, you know, whether it's mental health support, emotional support, in-person support. Um, let's really have a community that can support one another and help each other through the journey. Good for you for starting that resource. Suman, I have to say, I love that photo of you with your arms wrapped around Toby. <laughs> What a beautiful dog. I mean, Thank it's just, you. just a He's very just a beautiful... photogenic. Yes, he uh, is. He always seems to pose great for photos. I don't think I nearly look as good as he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful photo. I love it. So thank you for sharing that with thank us. You. You, know, uh, you know, as we're talking about this and, and the nonprofit that you started, I'm curious what your message is to other pet moms and dads out there that are navigating cancer with their dog or other fur baby uh, and how they can take care of themselves, which is also important, too. Yeah, make sure that you talk to your vet um, to find out what options exist. If you can make an appointment with an oncologist locally, really do that and, and explore what treatments are available. Um, I think trying to arm yourself with as much information as possible and what your choices are is really important. And don't forget to take care of yourself. Um, it can be really stressful. I felt like 24-7 I was worried about how is Toby doing and I sort of lost myself in the process. So focus on your mental health, taking care of yourself. It's okay to reach out for help. Um, I was really fortunate that I found a great therapist and she really helped me through the experience. 
Um, so I would really emphasize take care of yourself as well as your dog over the course of the journey. It's just as important. Suman, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story, your, your vulnerabilities, really appreciate it. And, and we're so glad Toby's doing yeah. well today. I hope he's having sweet dreams right now. I do too. <laughs> thank you. Thanks so much. All right, if you want to learn more about